Eastern Southern Africa are the world's most HIV-affected regions and on to the largest number of those living with HIV. Uganda has its fair share of that population, but the country has also been highly rated globally for its efforts at fighting the scourge. Dr. Kimono reports. The UNAID statistics of 2019 estimate that Uganda has about 1.4 million people living with HIV, with over 53,000 annual new infections. In the same year, close to 21,000 Ugandans are said to have succumbed to AIDS-related illnesses. Uganda AIDS Commission has for long intended to reduce annual new infections to at least 18,000. But as Dr. Nelson Musoba, the executive director of Uganda AIDS Commission, explains, these efforts continue to be frustrated by the high prevalence rate among men of ages 45 to 49 years, a regime that is known for actively engaging in transactional sex with young women. So you have men aged 45 to 49 with 14 percent and the men in that age group tend to be they call them mobile men with money and they are the ones engaging in transactional sex with the young women uh, in the lower age group so you can see that is how you're having uh, the hiv transmission at a very high rate the fight further hit a snag when COVID-19 set in. Most AIDS-related treatment and services were halted. Dr. Musova says this mainly affected the adherence to treatment among the people living with HIV. As the country gears up for this year's annual AIDS Day commemorations on 1st December, the Minister for Presidency, Esther Bayo, has underscored the need for concerted efforts for desired results. As we draw towards the festive season, there tends to be a lot of excitement within the community and people tend to engage in a lot of risk sexual behavior. I take this opportunity to remind the country that we should not relax our efforts and commitment towards preventing and ending HIV AIDS. This year's annual celebrations will run under the theme National Solidarity and Shared Responsibility Towards Ending AIDS.